Today's word of the day comes from the Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10. And it says, My beloved spoke and said to me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Amen. My beloved spoke and said to me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I believe that the further we go in this journey, the more we really truly understand God's love for us. Uh, it, God's love is very real, and yet sometimes we find it hard to believe it or feel it, but uh, it's very true. And the Song of Solomon is really about Jesus and his bride, the church, and, uh, and, and we can see his amazing love, and of course our love that he's given us for him in these stories. But in this one here, the beloved who is Christ in our lives says, rise up my love, all my fair one, the church, and come away. And we know that Jesus has called us out of this world. We're in the world, but not of the world. In Mark chapter 8, verse 34, Jesus, when he had called the people to himself with his disciples, he said to them, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Come out, come, rise up and come out. Depart from the world, from the ways of the world, from the way that we were walking, and and to follow him, to deny what we think we need, what we think is right, and to just walk with him is what his call is for us today. Praise the Lord. In John 10, verse 27, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them and they follow me. The truth is, if we are his sheep, we hear his voice like he gave us just this word right here. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. We hear that, and we follow. It's his great work for his sheep. Praise the Lord. Revelation 14, verse 4 says, These are the ones who are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. They are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being first fruits to God and to the Lamb. Praise the Lord. It's not about worrying about what people are thinking or anything else. It's responding to his call. We hear his call for us to rise up and come away, and we follow him. It's his wonderful work in all of us, and we just thank you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us ears to hear, and we ask you, the one who is not only called us, but the one who's able to cause us to rise up and come away to do it because we on our own strength cannot. Our flesh, our spirit is willing, but our flesh is weak. And so we respond to this call by saying, yes, Lord, make that happen. Cause us to come out of the world completely and walk with you with unfiltered, unfiltered relationship with you and we know that when that happens, the world will see you in us and be blessed as well. And they will also rise up and come away. So we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to fulfill all that you've written about in us today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's our word of the day.